What is up guys, so today we're going to be comparing the Moto G9 Power to the G8 Power, one of my favorite phones from last year. Uh, so starting with the price, these two phones are kind of oddly the same price right now. Uh, I picked this one up for $209 on Amazon and the G8 Power is still actually going for around like $188. So they're kind of at the same price still, but one thing I noticed is that on eBay, this is like 300 bucks. So if you're you know, an eBay shopper, I would just go to Amazon. You can get it significantly cheaper um, for right now at least. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it. So you got to have some awkward downgrades on the G9 power and some upgrades as well. So we're going to get into it with the hardware. So I think the hardware, I think the move here was pretty good on the G9 power. Um, it does not have that sort of, uh, you know, soft plastic feel where you get a lot of fingerprints. It kind of has this like matte textured plastic, which I think uh, looks really good. I really like it. Uh, you don't see fingerprints, but otherwise, um, as you can see design wise, they look pretty similar besides the camera module setup. Now, as you can see, uh, the G9 Power has a more trendy uh, camera setup, which um, looks good to me. I like the move as well. I think it looks a little bit more modern. Physical fingerprint scanner on the back and um, the G9 Power is definitely a little bit heavier than the G8 Power. Uh, not by, you know, a crazy amount, but it is definitely a little bit heavier thanks to the 6000 milliamp battery. And as we can see, it's just way taller. Um, and you have your power button, volume rockers, uh, button layout seems to be the same. Uh, you do have your speakers at the bottom. The G8 Power actually has stereo speakers, which we'll get into. And you only have a single firing speaker on the G9 Power. USB Type-C uh, as well. And the G9 Power actually has a Google Assistant button now, uh, which is really cool. So I'm a big fan of that move as well. All right, so the first thing is the display. So on the G8 Power, we have a 6.4 inch IPS LCD. 1080p 399 for the PPI a G9 power we have a bigger display at 6.8 inches it's still an IPS display but it's 720p 263 for the PPI so they downgraded the resolution and the PPI and the question is is it noticeable yes it is very noticeable um, compared to the G8 power just looking at the text uh, right here on subway surfer it uh, looks just a little bit more low res compared to on uh, the G uh, 8 power so that is one thing I noticed the screen just looks better uh, when you're watching videos in 1080p versus 720p so that is one thing that uh, I have noticed and uh, you do have a little bit more bezel at the bottom of the G9 power as well um, so as far as display quality uh, they both look good but the GA power definitely has uh, the better display here you have your punch hole on the left hand side uh, as well so I'm not really sure uh, how people are gonna feel you know fans of the series uh, do you care uh, are you just happy that you got the bigger display here on the G9 power are you upset that they downgraded the display a little bit so uh, kind of awkward uh, I don't like the move to downgrade the display I think they should have kept it at 1080p but Motorola has so many budget smartphones uh, now that I think they just downgraded it to kind of sell you up on the other ones but uh, you know, who knows, honestly, but I think both displays look good. They're both very bright, but G8 power definitely takes it here with display quality. Both of these phones are running Android 10 and they will get the Android 11 uh, update. So on the G9 power, you have the Snapdragon 662, Adreno 610, micro SD support, 128 gigs of internal storage and 4 gigs of RAM. On the G8 power, uh, we do have the Snapdragon 665 and the Adreno 610 micro SD support. Uh, we have lower storage at 64 gigs, but we also have um, 4 gigs of RAM uh, as well. So you do get uh, a little bit more storage on the G9 power, uh, which is always great. Um, so let's go ahead and get into just the speed of the processors before we get to uh, the benchmarks and stuff like that. Um, the G you know a power I believe should be the faster chip here but by how how much faster I don't know looks like ooh I was almost a tie but I think that was the GA power but that was barely it was like barely 
might have got it by a split second. Uh, let's go ahead and actually try the Play Store. Yeah, so these are pretty much like neck and neck. OpenMotorola.com. Yeah, these are like these are so like pretty much identical here in terms of uh, speed quality. Let's go YouTube. Yeah, these are um these are pretty much tied. Uh, let's check out the Geekbench scores to see uh, what kind of scores we get here. So as we can see, the GA Power does outscore. Uh, the G9 power in terms of the multi-core score, but pretty much the single core is pretty much identical here uh, So let's go ahead and actually check out those speakers because I did mention that uh, You do have stereo speakers on the GA power and they downgraded to a single firing speaker So let's see the difference with that. All right, so starting with the GA power. Let's go ahead and go max volume Alright, so that is pretty dramatic difference. Um, it's not even anywhere close. The GA power speakers are so much better. They sound way cleaner. Uh, compared to the G9 power, it sounds a little bit muffled. Um, like it's like it's like I'm holding my hand over the speaker compared to the GA power. It's actually uh Yeah, it just sounds hollow and just doesn't sound as crisp and clear. So, a uh, clear winner, you know, there with the GA Power. So, I'm not sure why with such a massive phone, you would think that they would add the stereo speakers. But, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Right, so let's talk about some of the additional features. So both of these phones have the water repellent coating, which means if you go outside and it's raining, uh, they won't you know break or anything like that. Both of these phones have the physical fingerprint scanner on the back, and it's very fast. It works very fast on both. I've never had an issue with the fingerprint scanner on these phones, and uh, you do have face unlock as well uh, with these phones too. Uh, so. Now, depending on which model you get, um, they both have NFC, but the G8 is going to always have NFC, but the G9, I've seen models that say they have NFC and the ones that say they don't. This model does not have any NFC uh, on it as far as I can tell. I've been searching through the settings and everything. So this one does not have NFC, so for mobile payments, you will not have uh, that. Of course, they both have a headphone jack. Um, as well. Alright, just to touch on the graphics, um, if we go to our settings on the G9 Power, you can see uh, it's pretty decent for Call of Duty Mobile, you know, casual gaming and stuff like that. It's not going to max like Fortnite and everything out, but we yeah, got very high, high on here, and it looks really good. Uh, if we go to the G8 Power, we should get the same uh, pretty much graphics. Alright, so on the G8 Power, we pretty much have the same. Uh, graphic settings uh, here you know very high high frame rate so you're gonna have to choose between do you want the bigger display or do you want the better uh, you know quality display the 1080p display uh, for gaming and honestly the better speakers because that's a big part of you know your gaming experience as well but as far as performance uh, they both play and perform pretty much the same here Alright, let's go ahead and talk about the cameras, uh, starting with uh, the G9 power. So you have a 64 megapixel standard, 2 megapixel macro, 2 megapixel depth, shoots in 1080p, 16 megapixel selfie, shoots in 1080p. GA power, you have a quad camera setup, it's a 16 megapixel wide, 8 megapixel telephoto, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro, 4K video, 16 megapixel um, front facing camera. The G8 Power's cameras are better than the G9 Power. I don't know why. 
uh, Motorola decided to sort of downgrade the camera from triple to quad and why remove the ultra wide uh, but starting with the GA powers camera uh, everything just looks really good for this price point detail depth of feel um, the color everything just looks pretty good and you don't have the 4k video on the G9 power for some reason that is a weird downgrade but I think the most thing I was kind of like like what with but is with the ultra wide why take away the ultra wide here and I think the selfie camera is also better on the GA power uh, as well so overall for photos if you're deciding uh, you know which phone to get for that the GA power I think is definitely better um, not to say that the G9's cameras are better because it takes very close photos to the GA power but like I said the main things that I noticed was the front facing camera wasn't as good and also just the color uh, sometimes skin tones would be kind of washed out on the G9 power but otherwise uh, they both perform pretty much the same it's just you're missing uh, camera lens and you're missing the 4k video uh, so overall they both are pretty good cameras but again I would give it to the uh, G8 power for sure alright so lastly let's talk about battery life so this is an upgrade they went from a 5000 to a 6000 milliamp battery on the G9 power the G9 power does have slightly faster charging at 20 watts versus 18 watts but it really is not a huge difference um, but yes you do get better battery life uh, on uh, the G9 power. I'm a light user on my phone so these both of these phones really can go like two days for me uh, without having to charge uh, but they both do an excellent job with battery life but if you want to squeeze the most out of your phone then uh, the G9 power would be more ideal for that and uh, it should be because you know they downgraded the display honestly so it's not pushing that many uh, pixels and stuff like that so uh, overall uh, battery life is going to be just a little bit better on uh, the G9 power so what do you guys think about the upgrades and downgrades that they did with the G9 power be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one